This video is made possible by the EA Creator Network. Hi guys, it's Lemelsey here, so welcome to another speed build. So today I am building another family home and this time I am using the Growing Together expansion pack and I'm building in the world of San Sequoia, which is of course the world that came in that expansion pack. It just came out not too long ago. This is the first build that I'm doing with the pack installed in my regular game. I did a few previous um, early access videos with just growing together in base game. And I, I have to say, I had kind of like mixed feelings about this expansion pack. I really like the concept of it. Um, it seems like the gameplay is pretty good. I haven't really heard any complaints. It seems all pretty positive. I haven't done any myself because I always just build. But for me, when I heard San Sequoia, I imagined a San Francisco world. <laughs> and so um, it's definitely inspired by that. I mean, I can see hints of it, but I was really expecting a city with a small suburb area and then like Victorian townhouses or apartments or something. and. I don't know, I just had something completely different in mind and this is definitely a lot more just suburbia, which is fine. And now that I have it in my game with my other packs and definitely my reshade, <laughs> I'm liking it a lot more, but I'm also just getting, I guess, used to it not being what I had imagined at first, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys feel the same, but uh, I'm very happy to have it in my game with my reshade. That is something whenever I get early access with just a pack in the base game and I don't have the ability to have any mods or reshade. <laughs> I miss reshade probably the most and then next probably like the tool mod and better build and buy just because it gives you so much more freedom and organizes things better. So I'm definitely happy just, just to have everything <laughs> back to the way I like it. And I hope you guys will like the house. Basically my idea for this, well, the main thing that I wanted to do was use the tree house because in those previous builds that I was talking about, um, I didn't have any space to use the tree house because the tree house is actually quite like a large object. Um, so this one, I specifically made sure that there was room for it. And I actually had my playtester sim build the tree house. So you'll see that completed in the screenshots. I didn't upgrade it. If you upgrade the tree house, I believe there's a slide and like banners and decorations. So it looks like, you know, your children's sims have decorated the tree house. And so that's super cute, but I just left it the basic tree house. And then if you would like your sims to build it themselves, I would just delete the one that I made and then replace it with an unbuilt one. And that should work out fine. Um, and yeah, there's a little bit of extra yard space too if you wanted to add a couple of other activities. I do add a few things back there, but no other like play equipment, but there's a little bit of room for it. Um, but as you can see, there's a driveway and uh, the color scheme that I went for with the house is that orangey wood tone and then this kind of like sage green color that's pretty, um, I guess, prevalent <laughs> throughout the pack. You can see it in the siding, also in the columns, and you know, some of the decoration items and a few other build items. And so I thought that they were really nice, like combination and really pretty together. And for the interior style, I went for like a cozy mix between traditional and modern because this pack came with a few different sort of styles. There's like industrial items, there's cozy, like eclectic traditional items. And then there's these like ultra modern pieces. <laughs> so I don't know. For me, I wish that, that it would have just been maybe one style and just like a completed style. But I do think all of them are nice in their own way, but maybe there could have been more just to make them feel a little bit more completed. Like the traditional couch that we got, I love. I think it's so cute. And I think it's like well-made and I love the pillows and I love like, the throw on the back and just like the texture of it. I think it's a great couch and I would have loved to seen a matching love seat and like an armchair that just made the set complete. So that's just something that I noticed myself. But um, yeah, my other idea that I wanted to mention about this house was I wanted to go for a house that was on the smaller side, but for a relatively large family. So in this home, you can fit six Sims and uh, it's going to be two parents um, and then I made a nursery so you can have a baby in there. You could of course have a toddler if you prefer. And honestly, you could even turn the nursery into a toddler's room or another kid's room and then put the 
bassinet in the parents' room and have the baby sleep in there, so it's totally a possibility. Um, and then there's two kids in this house and then a room for a teenager. So six Sims total is the way I decorated it, but you could easily have eight Sims in here or if you had like a couple of pets that could complete the eight sim household too. So yeah, you could easily have a full house if you would like. Also, there's the garage space that could easily be turned into another bedroom too. So there's a lot of possibilities. Um, but basically I wanted this house to be on the smaller side. It ended up being a lot more spacious because I made the house a little bit um, wider towards the back of the lot than I had originally planned, but that's just because the living room was going to be really cramped the way I have it right now. And since we don't have any love seats, I had to go with the full length version of the couch and I could have made it work, but it wouldn't have been like perfect or as good as it could have been. And so I'm really happy that I made the house a little bit wider and it gave me more room for the bedrooms. The kitchen ended up being really large and yeah, it just ended up being a lot more just spacious, <laughs> which is kind of funny, but I feel like it's one of those homes that you come across that looks really small from the exterior. Like I think from the front of this house, it still looks like a pretty small house, but then you go in and there's four bedrooms and there's two bathrooms and it's pretty spacious. It's just a lot more house than you would expect. And so I feel like it's one of those homes. And actually our last house was one of those houses. <laughs> like I feel like a lot of people said that to us because it was a, um, a four bedroom house too. So I had my office and we had a guest bedroom then we had our son's room and then we had our room and it was way too much house for us. It was kind of ridiculous. But when you came up to the front of the house, it looked like this tiny little home. And then it just was one of those houses that I guess was longer towards the back of the lot like this one. And so, um, yeah, I thought that was kind of fun, but here you can see I'm messing around with the roof. I made this roof way more complicated than it needed to be. I don't know what I was thinking when I first started building it because I knew I was going to have to do something kind of along these lines when I was building the house the way I was. Um, but yeah, I just made it way more complicated than it needed to be. <laughs> but um, since I made it this way, I ended up having even more space for the bedrooms because I had to bring it all the way to the edge of the house. And it just worked out so nicely. I'm really pleased with the floor plan and just how this house like came together. And I think it's so cute. And I'm completely obsessed with the green side. And I think it's really adorable with like the white windows and the orangey color. I think it's just all, it's all pretty in my opinion. So I think that came together pretty nicely. And yeah, other than that, I wanted to make this house cozy and lived in. I think the most areas that have that feel though are the bedrooms and then the living room. I kept the like the dining room um, a little bit less clutter just because I wanted the table to be usable. I added like just some pins and some papers on there, but nothing like too crazy because I originally imagined putting like schoolwork and like art supplies and like a bunch of stuff all over the dining table because I love that idea of feeling like the kids have just been sitting there working on their school homework or a school project or um, just an art project at home or something like that. Um, but I wanted it to be more functional and not have you guys need to delete something to make it usable. Um, but I think the bedrooms have a lot of personality. I especially, well, I like all of them, but I think the teenager room is kind of something unique because I didn't go with like a super like strong particular like color scheme or even like theme hobby wise. Cause sometimes I'll pick like this Sim likes music and then every poster has to do with music. Every decoration has to do with music. And so this one, I tried to just make it more of like a general teenager that has a few different interests and you know, a different sort of like personality and just tried to make it feel um, a bit more realistic in that aspect, I think. So yeah, I thought that was pretty fun. And The Sim is into photography and I think the teen is also, mm, a bit of an activist. I put a few posters in there that I think kind of go with that personality and they're a bit edgy and like different patterns and kind of like an alternative sort of dress style is what I was going for. So hopefully that comes across in the way I decorated it. But you guys will see that in a little while. And then for the kids, I made a room with some bunk beds because with this expansion pack, we got a really cool like swatch to the bunk beds that have these artwork like um, taped up to the bunk bed itself. So it looks super cute and it's super like personalized to, you know, the Sims that you have living in the bedroom. It just shows so much personality. So I love little details like that. I went for the dinosaur swatch of the bed. And so I made it like a super dinosaur kids room. And I was thinking the kids are twins, but that's of course up to you guys if you decide to play in this house. 
And then for the nursery, I just tried to make a general sort of like nursery that matches the house. And I think it's so cute though. It's so sweet. We have so many good objects from this expansion pack, but also the base game update where we got like tons of um, little cribs and toys and just different things that are perfect for a nursery. So I'm so excited about them. I'm so happy about them. <laughs> and so um, I think the nursery is really cute. And I had considered making space for a toddler too, but like I was saying earlier, I think you could easily move the crib into the parents' room. I put a computer desk in there that is, you know, totally not necessary. You could easily just have a laptop in your Sims inventory. And then you could probably just put a bassinet or um, a crib in that space and then turn the bedroom into a toddler's room. Or you could just have the baby and the toddler share a room too. That's totally a possibility. So yeah, I just wanted to create a nursery though, just because all the stuff is so new and so cute. But um, that's it for the exterior so far. I do come back to the exterior and add a few more decorations over by the tree and a little bit more landscaping and like an outdoor dining area and like a few seating areas and stuff like that. But here I'm moving on to the interior, starting off with the living room first. So with the living room, I really tried to make this area feel um, lived in and decorated and like the Sims have been currently, you know, in here living their lives basically. Um, and so with that, I tried to add like toys around and with the coffee table, I cluttered up the coffee table with a bunch of different stuff. So I think it really just looks lived in and super cute and homey and all of that stuff. So hopefully you guys will agree and hopefully you guys will like it. But you can see some of these objects that I'm talking about now that came with the expansion pack, like this kid's sculpture with the bear and the basket I thought was so cute with like the broom and the flag and it's in like a flower pot. It's just so adorable. And I thought that was kind of a cute decoration to put next to the couch. And then I also put um, a little um, sort of craft project on the coffee table. And I think a coffee table is like the best spot to clutter up because the Sims really don't need it. Like they might set something on it if there's a space available, but they don't need to like sit there and eat at a coffee table or, um, you know, it's just not necessary. So it's a great spot just to clutter it up with um, extra decorations to make it feel extra um, lived in and cozy basically. Um, over here, I really wanted to add this bookcase that is new with the expansion pack. I like the style of it. It's a bit more industrial. It's kind of like a cross between the traditional items in this pack and the industrial items. It's, it's an interesting bookshelf and there's two different pieces to it and they actually clip together or snap together rather. And um, yeah, I think they're really great. But for some reason, I just felt like it looked a bit messy over there and like it was kind of out of place in this living room. So I decided to um, add this one from Cats and Dogs instead. And then I also put a play mat for the baby and a little basket full of toys in here. And so it just has lots of things that make it feel like you know, there's kids that live here because I mean, I have a toddler and his toys are everywhere. <laughs> they are in our bedroom. They're in his bedroom. They're in the hallway. They're in the living room. Like they're scattered everywhere and I pick them up and he scatters them again. So <laughs> I feel like that is just so realistic. And I love bringing that into my Sims homes and making them feel like, you know, Sims actually live here and have their lives and things that they do. And so I think that's pretty fun. But um, yeah, over here, I just added a side table and then I have the entryway. This front door, by the way, is so stinking cute. I really like all of the doors that came in this pack. There's a like super modern one. There's this smaller sort of um, craftsman style one. And then there's a larger craftsman one. And I wish we would have got a little bit more variety, especially with the wall heights, <laughs> because there's only the short wall heights for the doors, so there's no medium, which I think I kind of would have expected. And it would have been nice to see a matching interior door as well. So I went with the Seasons one just because it was white and matched um, some of the colors that I was using, but also it's also a craftsman style. So I guess it worked out nicely. And also this archway that I have here leading into the dining room is so beautiful but it's so big. <laughs> I wish we would have got like a two square or two tile version, I think would have been perfect and made it feel a lot more complete. But the dining room, I think came together really nicely. Like I mentioned, I had considered like cluttering up the top of it, but I just ended up placing a flower in the center. And then I placed just this little clutter piece with pins and a few pieces of paper. Cause I don't think that's going to take away from your Sims actually dining at the dining table. And then I just put a little high chair in the corner and there's a few other decorations in there, but it's a nice simple dining room. But what I really like about it is the modern sliding glass door that I have leading to the side yard, just because it lets in so much light 
and it's just really pretty in my opinion so I felt like that worked out pretty nicely and then over here is going to be the kitchen so as you can see the kitchen is one of the largest kitchens I have probably ever made. There's so much counter space in here. It's such a big room, but I really love it because I was able to fit an island in here really easily. And it's a large island. So there's lots of stools around it. And the stools are new with the expansion pack. And as you can see, they match the color scheme of the traditional items, but they're more of an industrial style. I think they're really cool. And I thought they looked nice in here with the parenthood counters that I'm using and the parenthood tile and the curtains are new with the expansion pack too and I use them pretty much throughout the entire house. They do have a bit of an issue with shadowing. For some reason, objects are casting like a harsh shadow on them in some areas and so I ended up not being able to use them in the parents' bedroom for that reason, but it, I've kind of had that issue in the living room, but I think I made it work in there, it's okay, but um, certain objects just cast like really harsh shadows on other objects and these curtains seem to be affected pretty heavily by that. Um, so yeah, it's just something that I noticed. And then the stove and refrigerator and the range hood are new with the expansion pack too and I love them. They're one of my favorite things that came in this whole pack. I think they're beautiful and they just match nicely and I just think they're they're really just a nice set in my opinion and I'm kind of surprised because on Twitter I've seen some people say they don't like them and I'm like kind of like how could you not like them I think they're beautiful and I thought they were pretty in this color and I don't know I just really liked them I I just thought they looked beautiful in here and I think they're just like so different than the other ones that we have so I'm very happy to see them um, but other than that I just cluttered up the counters with a few different decorations and functional items too there's a teapot a coffee pot a microwave um, a dishwasher and so there's lots of things for all of the sims to basically do all of their kitchen needs i think and then over here is going to be the downstairs bathroom there's two bathrooms in this build one upstairs and then one downstairs they're both full bathrooms i do end up placing a washer and dryer in the garage space if you want to use the garage for something else you could probably move the washer and dryer in here um, but you might want to like remove the shower and tub combo that i'm using it's new with the expansion pack too by the way and i think it's really pretty it's probably my new favorite shower in the game but um yeah i really wanted to have this be another full bathroom just because with six sims in a home one full bathroom would probably not be enough so i thought the garage space was a good place for the washer and dryer but of course there's a lot of different options if you guys wanted to switch it up a little bit and then i have this extra space over here so i decided just to make it kind of like a little i don't know like a a gaming nook or a bonus nook I don't know what you would call this space but it's kind of it's kind of a little awkward room but I put the gaming table that's new with the expansion pack in here and then also I put the piano which the the piano I am so excited about the piano you guys if you guys have seen my previous builds if you've been watching me for a while you probably know how long I've been asking for a regular stand-up piano in the game and we finally have one I've made my own with the keyboard and some side tables a couple of different times and it's worked out pretty nicely i mean it's been functional but of course it doesn't look perfect because it's not really meant to be <laughs> what i was making it but um i'm so happy to have one and there's some like funky swatches there's this one swatch that's super cool that has like graffiti and like posters and just like stuff stuck all over it so it looks like maybe you would have it in i don't know what kind of build but it's really cool i'm definitely gonna have to use it at some point um but the one I used in here is just a plain wood swatch and there's quite a few plain swatches which I was so happy to see because I think in the uh, I can't remember if it was the trailer or like a teaser image that the sims shared on twitter showed one of the like really colorful swatches and I was like no I was like they're totally gonna give us a standing piano and then we're not gonna have enough like plain swatches or any plain swatches I thought maybe there would be like one wood tone and then like a white and black but there's a couple of different wood tones and there's white and black and then there's a bunch of different fun swatches too so very happy about that but anyways as you can see I'm moving on to the garage area so for the garage it's mainly a laundry room um but I put a few other things in here nothing else I think is really functional I probably should have put a like a woodworking table in here but I felt kind of just uninspired with the garage <laughs> like I don't know we really need a like garage stuff pack I mean I doubt it'll be a stuff pack because I don't think we're getting stuff packs anymore but maybe a garage kit where we just get some just garage items and things to just put around even if it's not totally functional and just decorative I need more things for a garage space 
especially like cutesy items. Like I feel like we have a lot of things from like the live edit objects where you can make kind of more of a, like a rustic, um, kind of more dirty looking garage, but creating just like a clean modern garage is kind of hard, at least for me. I'm sure other people do it really well <laughs> without like custom content, but I think I've came so like, um, accustomed to like the custom content that I have in the game for garages and yeah now without those pieces I'm just kind of lost with what to do in a garage space so yeah it might just be me but anyways here moving on to the second floor decorating the upstairs bathroom so I ended up copying over a lot of the items that I used in the downstairs bathroom um, but it's a little bit of a bigger bathroom but it has all of the same like functioning items, the sink, the toilet, the toddler potty, and then the shower tub combo. And then I end up actually placing a little like, um, like a side table, I don't know what you would call it, but a little storage area under the window. Not the one that I have right now that's from laundry day. This one just looked a little bit too like country and rustic for this home. So I decided just to go with something different. And I used these ones that I believe came with the high school years pack. I was really hoping they'd have it in like, like the wood tone that I was using, but um, they didn't. So I just used it in a white swatch and then I just cluttered it up with a few different decorations like these uh, sunflowers and then some bathroom pieces with the base game update for infants. We got some really nice baskets full of like clutter. It's all like infant clutter, <laughs> like diapers and lotions and stuff. But um, I think it works great for a bathroom. So I thought that worked out pretty nicely. And then here I'm gonna move on to the bedrooms and something I should mention. The camera is giving me a lot of problems, especially in this point of the build with it like jumping up, I think with like the roofs and the platforms that I have filling in like the dead spaces of the build. And so hopefully it's not too irritating, but I think when it gets the worst is in the teenager's bedroom. So I thought I would just mention it in case some of you guys are a bit sensitive to, to the camera jumping because it might make somebody a little bit queasy, but um, yeah, I think, I think it's minimal, so hopefully it's not too bad, but if it is, let me know. And if I ever come across it in another build, which I'm sure I will, because it seems to be getting worse with like every update. So hopefully they fix it, or maybe I'll just learn how to work around it a little bit better. But um, yeah, I'll try my best <laughs> if it really bothers you guys. Um, but this is going to be the parents' bedroom. I think the parents' bedroom is so cute. Um, I think this plant that I just added in the corner was the main source of the shadow being casted on that curtain. When I placed it, the shadow appeared, but when I tried to remove it, the shadow didn't really go anywhere. So I don't really know, I'm kind of confused about it, but I just ended up going with some other curtains here in just a little while. But over here is the computer desk that I was talking about. So if you wanted to repurpose the nursery space for another bedroom, I would just put um, the crib in here in that space and then just put a laptop or something in your sims inventory So here you can see I'm like shuffling things around trying to figure out the curtain thing and I try another curtain But I liked these ones better and then I tried moving the plant but the shadow was still there So I don't know but I just ended up going with the base game curtains that we have in a white swatch And I thought they looked nice in here and they fit the windows nicely But I tried a few other curtains and stuff But nothing was like really working the way I had wanted it to but I think these ones actually work out pretty nicely and then over here is going to be the nursery. And so for the nursery, I really just wanted it to match the house basically. So I used quite a bit of that sagey green color, but I also used a lot of um, yellows in here. And I just wanted it to feel just like a very neutral base for a nursery. So you could easily come in here and customize it um, for your liking, depending on, you know, how you want to decorate your nursery. And so I think it's just super cute. And I just love the different elements like this rug in here, the changing table, the shelf that I have here at the left of the room with like these little I don't know what, you, like stuffy towels. I don't know what they're called, but you see them all the time when you're buying baby stuff, but they're basically like a stuffed animal attached to like a rag or a little blanket or something. And they're really cute, really adorable. Sometimes they have like a binky or like a pacifier or something attached to it too. So yeah, I think that worked out pretty, pretty nicely hung there above that little side table. And then here is a bookshelf that we now have for nurseries too, that has all of these little baby books in it. The only problem I have with it is I think the scale of it is kind of small, which is something I feel like I never say with an object in The Sims 4. Usually things are oversized, but I think it's a bit small. So I use the tool mod to scale it up a little bit. And then I also use the tool mod to drop it down on the wall a little bit um, because I wanted to hide the shadow because the shadow does not scale with it. So unfortunately, sometimes there's objects where the shadow isn't like attached to 
the mesh somehow. I mean, I don't know if that's exactly how it works because I don't know how it works at all, but you go to size it up and the shadow just stays the same size and it can make it kind of difficult sometimes to size up objects that you want to size up or even size them down. So I just dropped it down a little bit to hide the shadow behind the changing table. So I felt like that worked out pretty nicely. And then over here, I just have this nice little dresser with the baskets and then that's it for the nursery room. And then over here, I'm trying to decide which room is going to be which. I knew I wanted to have a teenager room. I knew I wanted to have a kid's room. And I knew I wanted to have bunk beds. So I decided to make this one the kid's room. And then I'm just deciding on which swatch of the bed. So this is the new bunk bed that came in the expansion pack. And so I'm going with the dinosaur one like I was talking about. But as you can see, it has all of these cute little drawings and stuff stuck to it. And yeah, I just love that detail so much. It's one of my favorite sort of little things that I've seen in the expansion pack. Not like my favorite item, but like favorite detail, I guess. I love to see stuff like that. Um, but in this room, I went for a predominantly blue color scheme. There's some green in here just to tie it into the rest of the house. But for this room, I wanted them to like dinosaurs, definitely because their bedding has dinosaurs. But also I wanted these kids to like science and I think science primarily, I think is the decorations that I went for, but they also like art and you know other things too. They're just kids basically. And so there's so many good things that came in this expansion pack in the update, like I said. So I think there's some really cute things in here like the dinosaur wall chart and this little space um, sculpture of this rocket ship I think is so cute. I did size it down just a little bit um, because it's a little bit big, but I felt like sizing it down made it perfect to fit in here. And then I also have this parenthood dresser and I put a parenthood school project up here and then also this lamp that came with high school years because it has like stickers and stuff all over it. And then also that toy chest has stickers on it too. So I felt like that worked out pretty nicely for this room and gave it a bit more personality and definitely shows that these kids like to customize their own things with their art projects and their stickers and uh, making it more personalized to them. And then over here is going to be the teenager's room. So this teenager's room, was kind of difficult for me. I actually tried to decorate this like once or twice before this final attempt and I just wasn't really making something that I liked because I was going for such a mixed match sort of style but basically I wanted this teen to like to travel. I wanted them to be into photography and so I tried adding like posters and decorations that suited that personality but then I was trying to make a color scheme that seemed cohesive but also like mix matched in a way so I really tried my best to make this come together and be what I had envisioned without being too matchy. And I also wanted to use a double bed, but I don't know, I just felt like it took up too much space. So I ended up going with a single bed instead. Sometimes I push two single beds together when I want like a larger bed. Um, I want it to feel more like a full bed, not like a queen size bed or something. Um, and some of the beds work really nicely pushing them next to each other because they don't clip really weird, but I think this one kind of clips a little bit weird. So I decided just to leave it by itself. Um, but yeah, I thought these posters actually worked out really nicely for the idea I had for this bedroom. So these like travel posters that we got with the expansion pack and I used the one of like Strangerville and of the, um, snowy escape world. The name is escaping me right now, but I thought those posters looked pretty cool. And then over here, I do have a desk space with a laptop and then this really cool chair that we got in the um, color pop kit, I think is the name of it. And then I use this floor clutter. I ended up changing the swatches because I felt like this swatch didn't quite match like the theme that I was going for in here. And then I also put up a couple like posters and also this um, sign that we have from City Living where the Sims can actually protest and stuff. So I think this Sim is a bit of um, an activist. I also think this Sim is also pretty opinionated and I think a bit edgy, definitely. I think this teen has their own style. So I think it's a pretty fun room. And then I end up using some posters over here that we got with um, high school years. And as you can see, the camera is jumping and I'm really, really sorry, but I didn't want to cut any of it out because it would take away from me decorating this room, but I was really struggling with it. I feel like after this update, it's gotten a lot worse, but it's been kind of bad for a while. And I guess the camera just wants to jump to the platforms or jump to the roof line. I'm not exactly sure what's causing it necessarily, but I should probably figure it out so I can minimize it as much as possible because it's kind of frustrating. It's frustrating to um, see in the video, but also when you're building, it's frustrating. But here I just put up this little string decoration with the moons and um, 
some other shapes and stuff hanging from it, which I thought was kind of a cool teenager -y decoration to have in here. Um, so I thought that was pretty fun. And then over here, I'm finding some decorations to put on top of this uh, shelf with all the camera equipment. And I thought these little travel statues worked out pretty nicely. I ended up actually moving them over to um, the desk, at least the car I moved to the desk. And then there I just put a little stack of games and then a stack of clothes and then some skateboards. And I really just tried to make it feel like a teenager's room. So hopefully I achieved that. But there I just moved the car and then, um, yeah, I think I find something else to put up here. I kind of struggled with finding things that would fit on the shelf. And so, yeah, I just left it like that. And yeah, that's it for the teenager's room. And then it for the interior too. So here we're moving on to the exterior again, just finishing up the landscaping. So for the landscaping, I mostly used greenery, but there's some white hydrangeas and then these really cute yellow flowers. And if you're not recognizing the yellow flowers, you guys can find them in the live edit objects from the expansion pack. And they're just really cute, nice little yellow flowers and they scale up nicely, so that's good too. And then I also ended up placing a couple of bicycles in the driveway and they're actually kids' bicycles. So your kids can actually ride bicycles now with this expansion pack, which is so awesome. I'm very um, happy that that's finally a thing. I know probably everybody has wanted that since bikes have became a thing in the game <laughs> because it just seems so natural for a kid to ride a bike. So very happy about that. And then over here, I do make a little um, outdoor dining area with a sort of um, patio area um, with some concrete flooring and then I put an outdoor barbecue or is there an indoor barbecue? Probably not, but there's a barbecue out here. And um, I thought this table looked nice. And then on the upper patio leading into the house, I do put a little seating area. And then when I have my Sim build the tree house, I do put a couple of um, functioning items up on the tree house because in the platform area, you can actually fit a couple of things up there. So I put one of the arts and crafts tables for kids up there and then also a toy box. So you could easily just like swap them out depending on what your Sims are into, but I thought those ones worked out pretty nicely. Then here I'm just doing some terrain paint and it's nothing too crazy, but just enough to add some dirt underneath all of these plants and along like the edges of everything. So I thought that worked out pretty nicely. And then at the front of the house, I do add like another seating area with all the lounge chairs that I was trying to use over on the other patio, but I felt like that worked out pretty well and I think it just looks good. So hopefully you guys have liked this build and hopefully you guys enjoy the screenshot. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching and please leave any comments or suggestions you have and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. We got time on our side. We're in a state of hope. I need you on my fire. I want you to know that every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way. We got everything here, at least to stay alive. Oh
I saw you.